We're back! I mean, no, that's not how I open this. It's <laughs> Behind the Bastards, the podcast that I do. Robert Evans, bad people, talk about them. Normally I have a more creative intro than that, but I fucked it up thinking we were coming back for an ad break, but it's the second part of our episode on the Church of Drinking Bleach with Billy Wayne Davis, my guest. That's also the... the name of the sitcom I just pitched, too. The, Drink and the Church of Drink and Bleach? Oh, Drink and Bleach? With Billy Wayne Davis. <laughs> Drink and Bleach with Billy Wayne Davis. Uh, we're going to pass. <laughs> we're going to hard pass. I feel like HBO, like after Game of Thrones ended, they're looking for a new epic series. I really think Drink and Bleach with Billy Wayne Davis might fill that GOT-shaped hole in all a of our lot hearts. A of people die, and there's more fucking than you would think. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Well, after my worst intro of all time, uh, I assume Sophie's nodding her head at that. Um, let's get let's get back into our tale. So w- when we when we ended the last episode, we had just introduced the fact that in this episode we will be talking about Carrie Rivera. Now, Rivera is someone who I misspelled as uh, as Kelly Rivera in most of this episode, but her, she, her name is Carrie Rivera. And she is the person who uh, is responsible for spreading the idea across the world that drinking bleach is a cure for autism. So she, which is, okay, she's like yeah. the, she's the Miscavige to Hubbard. Yeah, if, if Jim Humble is the L. Ron Hubbard of drinking bleach, <laughs> Carrie Rivera is the Miscavige. Yes, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, gotcha, where she comes in, she's like, I like what you're doing. We're going to make it bigger. We're going to make it bigger and worse. Well, it's just more focused, which might be a smarter move because you can really sell anything to people who are, are desperate both, and there's who are mystery. desperate and believe that like a mom and her intuition are better than a hundred doctors being like, this is a bad idea, which is, which is a lot more powerful than the, than yeah. the humans would like to admit. Yeah, it's like the the idea that mothers have some sort of like supernatural understanding of their children's health is like one of the most dangerous things in the world. <laughs> it has probably killed more children than fucking anything else. Yes. Yeah. Than we all care to think about or it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, cuz everybody believes a version of it. Like um yeah, it's 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 Well, they do know their behavior better. Yeah, absolutely, else. and and I think that bleeds into being like I just understand them better. I'm like, no, you understand the, how they behave in their routines. You, you don't yeah, know you, how you, the inside of their fucking body is working right now. <laughs> and even then, I think a lot of mothers, like that's one of the one of the reoccurring themes of mass shootings is there's a lot of moms out there who really thought they understood their kid and then did not understand their kid. Yeah, uh, yeah, which is like, in general parents don't understand their kids and kids don't understand their parents yeah. and the only person who understands their kids who, the only person who understands teenagers period is the band Coldplay um they which, got it they know, nailed it yeah yes. they nailed it yeah. chris, chris martin <laughs> he's just playful he's just playful so what started as the sacrament of a specific nutty church has spread across uh, the alternative health ecosystem and turned into a cure for autism According to a write-up on Carrie Rivera from the website Science-Based Medicine, Rivera started her work in something called the Autism Biomed Movement. Now, these are groups of parents, mostly, who are frustrated by medical science's inability to cure autism and have spoken or have taken to a variety of dangerous treatments in order to heal their children. In 2012, Carrie spoke at the Autism One Conference, which is an annual anti-vaccine symposium. She claimed to have recovered, and that's her word, 38 children from autism in a single month. According to the website Science-Based Medicine, quote, at the time, Rivera was running a clinic in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, mm-hmm. that she called Autism O2 Clinica Hyperbarica. Unsurprisingly, the website is no longer there. Fortunately, the almighty Wayback Machine at archive.org provides the now defunct material we're interested in under protocols. So in the slides uh, that are still held by the Wayback Machine, Carrie claims she learned about Miracle Mineral Solution while she was doing intense research in Google University, which is a term that you will hear from parents who self-treat their children's serious medical issues with nonsense. No, 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 um, no, no, no. That's like <laughs> that's a thing that they came up with and yeah, that's with a that's face. Mm-hmm. 
Like they're I, very proud of it. I can't. I, this if I can say that with the strafe. Google. <laughs> I can't. Do, Google University. That's, I can't you say can't. it. No. One of my favorite memes that runs around in anti-vaccine circles is like you know that meme that like the 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 idea is like how people think I look or how my friends think I look, how society thinks I look, uh, how I I really look, and it's like there's everything from like Burning Man to preppers to yeah uh, the LGBT communities. There's different variants of it. Um, the one that I've seen for the uh, uh, like anti-vaccine autism mom community is like. Uh, how society thinks I look, someone in a tinfoil hat, how my friends think I look, and it's like a crazy person ranting, and then how I really look, and it's like a, a she's surrounded by books and printouts of paper and like highlighting and stuff, and it's like, no, you're just reading a hundred different crazy blocks. <laughs> like, yeah, you're, you're not, just you're reading not doing what other medical people research. Like you think, yeah. <sighs> But they, but they think because they're spending a lot of time reading about it, that counts as research. Um, which is, you know, a mistake I make all the time. I mean, I don't make it. I know I'm dumb. But there's a lot of people who uh, make that mistake of thinking I'm a serious researcher. And I mean, not. technically, I've been doing math my whole life. And I should yeah. be an If that's the... Mm-hmm. That's what I should be an expert at math. I'm not an expert at math. It's like no, that. That's no. that Malcolm Gladwell... 10,000 10, hours that thing. That bullshit. Where you're like, no, yeah. I can't duck a basketball. And I've tried for 10,000 hours. It's one thing I've definitely walked for ten thousand hours, but I have like friends who do uh uh what you call it that uh that a uh, fucking magic walking around the city. Uh, I know uh, it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pa- parkour. Yeah. Parkour. Yes. Parkour. And it's like I I can't do that despite my ten thousand <laughs> you know hours of walking around. They've spent less than ten thousand hours of doing parkour. It matters what you spend the time doing. <laughs> like, it does. Or what you're reading. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, spending 10,000 hours Googling autism and vaccines will not do you as well as, I don't know, medical school? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a difference between these two things. Um, so after hours and hours of Googling, Carrie Rivera decided that autism was uh, caused by pathogens. Um, that's the conclusion she came to, which is a very common strain of thinking among like sort of the anti-vax community that there's different diseases that actually cause autism and these diseases are stuck inside of your vaccines some people think it's an accident that the diseases are there some people are like no it's a government conspiracy to make everybody autistic but they believe that what's the point of that yeah who profits from the 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 autism industrial complex like where yeah i don't understand that that it's a lot of it, co- yeah. Selfish moms who are like, "Why did this happen to me?" Yeah, and the reality, is, and it's also this misunderstanding where it, like, it seems like if you look at the numbers that autism's gotten way more common in the last twenty years, and it's like, no, it's just that it used to just be something where most of the kids who had autism, you would just call them bad kids, and you they'd get hit by their teachers and parents, yeah. and eventually they would stop acting as if they were different, although they would still be not neurotypical. Uh, And now we understand that, no, it's a spectrum of different sort of things, and they have different sort of, you know, like ways to respond to them and allow these people to still function in communities and stuff like that. It's not like, uh, it's not an epidemic that's new. It's just, you used to just hit kids with autism, and now we've understand that it's a thing. They're not just misbehaving to misbehave. Like, and we're also, I yeah. think, mislabeling people as, you know, on the spectrum. Like, my mom does that. She's very, anyone that's, like, yeah. pretty intelligent, she's like, you know, I think he's on the spectrum a little bit. And you're just like, no, yeah. he's just a very smart person that doesn't like yeah. talking to dumb people. That's all Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, there's this, there's definitely a trend to it where it's like, oh, anybody who's antisocial is on the spectrum. It's like, no, some people just don't like people. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, I wish I could walk away like that. I don't think he's autistic. I think he's just got yeah. more balls than most. <laughs> yeah, he just respects his free time. Yes, he does. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. jealous of that man. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, there's, anyway, so uh, Carrie Rivera became convinced that autism uh, was caused by pathogens, and of course, if autism is caused by pathogens, then MMS, which we know from Jim Humble is the ultimate treatment for any kind of pathogen, must be the perfect cure for autism. 
Carey wrote, quote, MMS kills virus, bacteria, candida, neutralizes metals, and MMS passes through the blood-brain barrier. What more do we need? How does she, f- how does she know that? How does she know that? <laughs> Google University, Billy. Oh, I forgot that she went to college. Yeah. You okay. forgot she went to Google. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yep. Now, yeah. Kelly is a particularly big fan of of bleach enemas. That is her brand, is bleaching, shooting bleach up your small child's asshole. Uh, That's like, yeah, that's her brand. Uh, She recommends 10 to 15 drops of MMS in 500 milliliters of water, shot directly up the colon, and left to soak for between 12 and 30 minutes. Nope. What what, what don't you like about that, Billy? I mean, I was with you until it was like, then you just let it soak. I don't know why that that was my line right there, but that was definitely a visceral line where I was like, no. mm -mm." That's the point at which Billy's out. Yeah, Yeah, I think we could do some fun, like, yeah, shoot it up there. We'll clean some stuff out. But no, we're going to let it sit in there. No, (laughs) No. you got to let that bleach really soak. You got to treat it the way my mom treats, like, uh, Cloroxing the bathtub. (laughs) Yeah, have you ever put jeans in with a bunch of towels? And yeah. see what that does. It's jeans. <laughs> That's gonna be your asshole. That'll see be those your jeans? Ass- <laughs> <laughs> so this treatment, two to three times a week, is what Carrie believes will recover children from their autism. Um, now it breaks my heart that I even need to say this, but just so we're clear, bleaching your child's colon will not cure their autism. No. There is no cure for autism. I am not a doctor, if, but I yeah. will go out on a limb. You yeah. can quote me yeah. on that. And it's one of those things. If there were some sort of magical cure for autism, the question of whether that was even an okay thing to do in all circumstances would be an incredibly complicated moral debate uh, that's way beyond the scope of this podcast. But what was is within the scope of this podcast is to say bleach will not cure autism. <laughs> like, no, I, I feel like we're on solid moral ground stating that one. I don't think it'll cure your hemorrhoids either. Yeah, it, I don't think it cures anything other than maybe wanting your asshole to be a sparkling, the, the color of sparkling white tile. Yeah, no, not, <laughs> yeah, it was like too yeah. brown. You're like, well, yeah. I think you can get that done in Beverly Hills, though. No, you can, but they don't put it all the way up into your colon. They know better. I hope they don't, or unless, well, you have yeah. to pay extra, I think. I just want a clean colon. Just let's get in yeah. there and clean it out. I want yeah. somebody to swim in there if they need to. <laughs> yeah, I want it to be, I want my colon to have the same pH as a swimming pool. Because <laughs> <laughs> my, my, yeah, my pool boy won't get anywhere near my asshole, so I'm going to get it <laughs> cleaned out. He likes that. You know, if Carrie Rivera was just letting Beverly Hills moms have assholes that are fit for their pool boys, I would not have a problem with her. No, I would um, celebrate her. I would celebrate her. Someone but found she their is passion. <laughs> The dosing guidelines that I related back then uh, are just what Carrie advises parents to start with. She's made most of her money selling one-on-one counseling sessions with parents treating their children. In those sessions, her main tactic is to constantly advise parents to up their kids' dose of Miracle Mineral Solution. The author of that science-based medicine article discussed one video in which Rivera warns that all of this ass bleach can cause diarrhea, uh, but that this is okay because it would just be detox diarrhea, which is, of course not a thing. Well, this is the best Quote, kind of diarrhea. Yeah, it's the best kind of diarrhea. <laughs> Quote, she even likened the reactions he expected to a Herkheimer reaction, which is sometimes seen after the initiation of antibacterials for tick-borne relapsing fever. It was first described as a reaction to the treatment of syphilis with penicillin and is also seen after treatment of other diseases caused by spirochets, such as Lyme disease and leptospirosis. Basically, this reaction is due to the release of endotoxin-like products by microorganisms as they die off during antibiotic treatment. Rivera also discussed what she referred to as the 72-2 protocol, which involves giving MMS every two hours for 72 hours. She also recommended fever therapy and argued that it's a good thing if M- that MMS can cause fevers because it's waking up the immune system, which realizes that there's, that there's quote, autism in the house. Oh, she also exulted how know. she. It didn't know yeah, until you put it didn't some bleach know in your asshole, and then it's that like, bleach. It's like a dog for your asshole that lets it know that there's autism at the door. <laughs> <laughs> she also exulted about how she loves the enemas so much for autism. <sighs> no, I believe this part. I believe some parts. Yeah, 
she definitely loves the enemas. She that does. that yeah. Now, I should also note that Carrie Rivera's 2012 Butt Bleach slideshow ended with a Deepak Chopra quote. Miracles happen every day, not just in remote country villages or at holy sites halfway around the globe, but here in our own lives. So that's that's magical, right? Now, bend over and put this in your ass. Now, that science-based medicine article on Carrie Rivera included a link to the blog of one of the mothers who administered Carrie's treatment to her child. The blog is chilling reading. Uh, the boy, Jojo, was 11 years old and had been diagnosed with autism at age 3. His mom decided to start experimenting with autism biomed treatment based on her mother's instinct that it could help. And those were her words. Quote, Jojo is given one ounce of the mixture hourly, so effectively he is getting one-eighth of a drop each time. His first dose was given after school at 1 p.m. He is now given eight doses only, although my reading tells me that that is a minimum. I suppose I could increase up to 9 to 12 doses a day, but I'm kind of leery of the possible increase in die-off effects, too. That's, of course, the fact that it kills all of the bacteria in your gut and colon, which is bad for you. Yeah, yeah, you're, you need that stuff. Yeah. Now, down. by the first day of this bleach treatment, Jojo had started to run a low-grade fever. The fever and his cough got worse, and his mom decided that this was due to parasites in his lung dying. So that's that's cool. Uh, later entries describe Jojo getting constipated, and when that resolves, his mother thought that parasites were coming out in his poop. Um that theme continues throughout the blog. Uh, Jojo develops diarrhea, uh, flare-ups of chronic eczema, and a variety of other side effects, uh, which were, of course, just the normal effects of poisoning an 11-year-old with enormous doses of bleach water. Now, Jojo's very, 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 very profoundly dumb mother was at least smart enough to realize that her child's worsening symptoms necessitated direct intervention from a professional. Unfortunately, God. that professional was Carrie Rivera. Aww. When she texted, yeah, 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 yeah. When she texted Rivera about her son's constipation, Carrie responded, "Do an enema. There is probably a worm in his intestine, and give more MMS doses orally if he is awake. More MMS now, please." I mean, it's like attempted murder is what that is. Right, right. This is attempted murder. Yeah. Like, I'm just talking. Like I was like, what, where's the punchline here? And there is no punchline other than these people are either very dumb, a mixture of dumb and desperate, or trying to kill their kids. Yeah. And I think it's usually just dumb and desperate. Um these tend to be one of the real tragedies here is that, you know, there's there's a, a wide variety of um, expressions of autism. And a lot of people with autism, you know, are capable of communicating perfectly well, leading very normal lives, having yeah. relationships and families and jobs and stuff. But there's also a, a sizable chunk of people who are it, when I worked in special ed, the term we used was low functioning. I don't know if that's the term they still use. But these are in a lot of cases, these kids are nonverbal, so they can't they can't communicate with you in traditional senses. They can't use their words. And so that's one of the tragedies here is that these kids who are getting poisoned with bleach can't tell anyone what's happening. They can't even tell their parents, please stop filling me with bleach, um, which it is like hurts. Yeah. 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 It's horrible. You know what's not horrible, Billy Wayne? <laughs> Products and services. But what is horrible was that ad plug, which was a... I mean, Sophie Sophie told me it was time, but we were just talking about the tragedy, like the I have no mouth, but I must scream nightmare of being a child who has bleach forced on him by his insane parent. I don't know how to lead into... It is a products. classic local news it, transition right there. Where yeah. Like, and, and all the school children died. But coming up yeah. next in sports, who won a district yeah, championship? Sports. <laughs> yeah. That's our show. Products! We're back. Ugh, great products. Really wipes the taste of bleach out of your mouth. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, let's get back into talking about this poor kid who is having bleach poured into every orifice of his body by his insane mother. Uh, after 
days of this bleach treatment, Jojo began passing stool that had strange stringy bits of goo in it that looked a little bit to its mother like a worm. Jojo's mom posted pictures in her MMS Facebook group, and all of the other moms were pretty sure that this was like parasites being passed through their kid's colon. Now, the reality, when actual doctors looked at this, is that it was bits of colon mucosa, which is the lining of the colon, and these bits were sloughing off as a result of all the damage that all that bleach had done. Um, But Carrie Rivera reinforced this mother's er uh, errant belief, telling her that these were worm intestines and explaining that the outer skin is already digested and the inside intestines, etc., disintegrates like this. So... The mom continued to give treatments for several months. Uh, Eventually, she became concerned that the worms did not seem to be extinct despite months of bleach treatments. Carrie agreed that this was a problem and prescribed a dose of mebenzodol, which is a drug used to treat parasitic worms, which the child did not have. So, cool. Now, if you keep putting bleach in your kid's butt, things that look kind of like worms but are actually their intestines will continue coming out forever or until till the kid gets sick and dies or needs part of their colon removed. I mean cool. Awesome. You yeah. know, I know I know all these doctors keep saying this isn't real, but I'm going to mm-hmm. keep trusting that lady. I'm going to keep trusting this lady who I can just text and she says more bleach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because that's how all the other doctors seem to operate, too. Yeah. Now, the strength of this particular grift is the fact that while drinking and shooting bleach up your butt is bad for you, if it's fairly diluted, it probably won't kill you. Certainly, it won't kill healthy people. Adults can drink a surprising amount of bleach without dying. Yeah, no. Um, We all have those (laughs) idiot friends. There there have been two deaths associated with MMS, but for the most part, it just causes intense discomfort. Um, so, uh, Carrie Rivera's autism parasite enema treatment nonsense has spread far and wide over the years. In 2017, a news report in the UK revealed that a Cheshire woman had been reported to the police for talking in a secret Facebook group about bleaching autism away. Emma Dalmain, an activist who fights against this particular species of nonsense, had infiltrated that Facebook group and reported the information to the police. She said, quote, The most extreme case I have seen to date is a six-year-old boy who had to have his bowel removed and a colostomy bag fitted after his parents gave him these enemas. So, that is the worst case scenario. God. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Cool stuff. I mean... (laughs) And they'll also probably get the measles, too. Yeah. Because they're not vaccinated. Because they're not vaccinated, and because their immune system is taking a major hit from all the bleach. Yeah, because it's like, hey, we're having to fight this thing we shouldn't have to fight every day. Yeah. Because I I feel like we should just fight the mom, but we're too tired to go after her. (laughs) It's amazing how many of the world's problems wouldn't exist if people just weren't incredibly fucking stupid. Uh, well, like, I which think is a helpful thing to, to say. It. It's like everything yeah. else. The ego. Oh, yeah. Because, like, when I go home, and this isn't a great example. I mean, it's probably a good example. Like, anybody, when you go home, like, there's, like, cousins and stuff I'm around. When you hear their wives or their the moms talk to the kids and they're like, what you're saying is so wrong, I'm not going to correct it. But it's about, like, well, I don't know this, but I can make it up to you, so and you don't know no better. And I, it just oh, it like eats me up every time I'm back there. I'm like, the information you're giving is wrong because you're too lazy to even look it up. You have all the information on your phone, in yeah. your pocket. Like literally all of the information humanity has ever acquired. Yes. But you're picking a random blog from a woman who says to shoot bleach up your kid's asshole over centuries of medical science. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, it's uh, and there's also an ego in like I think this is often the parents who get involved in like the craziest treatments are like they're they're doing better financially. Uh, there may be people with a lot more of an ego to them who take it personally that their kid has this illness and yeah. see it as like no, my kids should be perfect. So number one, it clearly can't just be that sometimes people get autism and sometimes people get types of autism 
that render them nonverbal um, yeah. and that, you know, mean that they're not going to be able to live a normal life. And that's just a thing that happens. No, it can't be a thing that happens to me because it means that I'm not perfect because this is my kid. So it must mean that someone's poisoning my child and I can fix it. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think we're, that's where a lot of it comes from, too. Yeah, that kind of like, well, I know, yeah. I know. And you're like, but you don't. You're- you don't, though, do you? It's one of those things I am... Um, it's given me a lot of respect retroactively for some of the parents I knew when I was in special ed. One of the kids that I worked with was extremely violent to the point where he he would he had he broke numerous people's bones and hospitalized several people. Um and he was very large and his parents weren't into any woo bullshit or anything like that. They were insistent on keeping the kid in the home, though, because a lot of people had advised them to, like, you put the kid in a full-time sort of residential facility because he's dangerous. And this kid's dad, his mom got, uh, I think, her, like, jaw broken, and then a month later his dad had his arm broken, and they were still intent on keeping this kid in the home because that's what you do to your kid. You take care of them yeah. if they if they need your help like this. And at the time, I thought they were crazy. And now I've come around to believing like, no, that's just somebody with a really intense understanding of the responsibility that a parent should have to their kid. The people who put bleach up their child's asshole and refuse to accept the reality of their situation. That's crazy. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> no, without a doubt. No, it is. It's yeah. because it's like that old Chris Rock bit about like oh, you're just bragging about the things you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, like, I'm yeah. a good dad, blah, blah, blah. He's like, no, you're just, you're supposed to do those things. That's the yeah. thing. Yeah, it is like a, it's, uh, the nonverbal thing is very fascinating. We have some family friends who have a uh, adult nonverbal, but they learn that he can, they give him a keyboard and he can say yeah. things. And like, yeah, yeah, like that's a- almost, 18 or 19, I think, before that happened. And I was thinking about that moment when they learned that he could communicate and he was listening. Like, I get chills talking about it because it is that thing of, like, yeah, yeah. if you're shoving bleach up his ass his whole life, you don't never have that fucking moment where it's, like, yeah, that he, there's just something with his wires. He can't verbally communicate, but he's very smart and very together. It- and that's what's so evil about it to me. Instead of devoting the time that a real loving parent would devote to trying to figure out how to make your kid's life as good as it can be and how to communicate with them and work with them, you're just so obsessed with, quote unquote, fixing them fixing or it, yeah. recovering them, as is, is Carrie's language, that you never for a second listen to them. Um, it's the same mental thing where it's like you think something's wrong with your kid because they're gay. It's that religion yeah, exactly. thing, too. I think religion has a little bit to do with both of what we're talking about. And it's this, there's nothing inherently wrong about the idea of, like, I'm sure there's a lot of great mothers out there who feel that their mother's intuition is very important and have been right about a lot of things. But it's this idea, There's there. I think, I think where it gets dangerous is when mother's intuition crosses the line into, I don't need to listen to anyone, including my kid, because I know what's best yeah. for them. Yeah. That's what's gross to me. Um... Anyway, I found an NBC7 Chicago article about Carrie Rivera from 2015. It interviews Dr. Karen Rodwan of the University of Chicago. He expressed utter despair at the number of parents who had reached out to him to express a willingness to try any kind of treatment, even insane, dangerous, and bleach-based ones, to cure their child. They will tell me, I know there is not much evidence in this, but I still want to try it. I know that sometimes people will close their eyes because of their desperate, hopeless situations. Which is God. True. Yeah, they also talked to Carrie Rivera. She claimed that her own son, diagnosed with autism at age three, was proof that her treatments work. Quote, my son was immediately looking me in the eyes. He was smiling at me. He was back, almost as if he had come back to his body. Autism is treatable, it's avoidable, and I believe that it's curable. As the symptoms go away, the diagnosis fades as well. Carrie Rivera. Yeah. Now... The Guardian caught up with Carrie next. By that point, she'd started to claim that her protocol had cured 170 children of autism. She said the people who criticized her for poisoning children with bleach were haters and trolls. Quote, if in fact chlorine dioxide were this toxic poisonous bleach, there would be a sea of dead children. How can this be bad if people are healing and nobody's dying? Yep. Solid logic there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk it's to the kid who has a colostomy bag. I actually found a response Carrie pinned to her critics after her book on bleaching autism away uh, was removed from Amazon. It included her directly addressing the criticism that her miracle cure is just bleach. 
Quote, this is it's like done as a Q&A sort of thing. So here's the Q. Chlorine dioxide is nothing more than an industrial bleach. You might as well go to the store and buy Clorox and drink that. Kerry responds, yes, you are right that chlorine dioxide is used in industry. In fact, so is salt, water, vinegar, alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, and countless other important chemicals. This does not mean it has no value as a medicine or food. In fact, Coumadin, where ferrin, is a common blood thinner. It is also useful as a rat poison. You don't just take warfarin any old time you want. It has a lot of side effects. It's prescribed in specific situations. And also in a different formulation that you use as a rat poison. Oh, you shouldn't just... Um, if you you need some blood thinner, you shouldn't just eat some rat poison. No, no, no. In fact, do not do that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, anyone who thinks carry again. Anyone who thinks the CD autism protocol ad- advocates pouring bleaching strength CD in a child or adult isn't even close to having their facts straight. That chlorine is a chemical constituent of CD is a media spin master's dream come true. For those who have no knowledge of chemistry, I should point out that plain table salt has chlorine as a key constituent. The bleach you use to whiten your clothes has a very different chemical, sodium hypochlorite, and I highly suggest you never drink it or you will have a problem. Any journalist suggesting that household bleach is the same as chlorine dioxide should be fired. I should note that one point of the ABC report on MMS was to use it to bleach clothing, because it's bleach. Uh, Also, no one is saying that chlorine dioxide is the same as household bleach. Everyone I've seen reporting on it points out that it's industrial bleach. (laughs) Jeez. Now, so what is her game? Is it just to get money? I don't know. I suspect she really believes that it works. And, uh, you know, maybe some of it's that there's a lot of moms out there whose kids are kind of on the, I guess you'd say, lighter end of the autism spectrum mm-hmm. and are able to communicate well enough to realize that if they keep doing certain, engaging in certain behaviors that are like behaviors associated with autism their mom will keep force feeding them bleach so they stop doing those things because they don't want bleach in them and then mom says i cured my son yes it's like no you tortured him into not acting a certain way the same way kids with asperger's syndrome used to get hit by teachers until they acted quote unquote normal yeah like that's what you're doing um that would be my guess uh or she's just lying about it all because it makes her a lot of money totally possible too but the insistence makes it seem more than just money because there is like an like like there is like I'm a right right about this. Yeah, there's this 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 righteousness cloaking it that makes me think she believes some extent of it. Although with grifters, it's always hard to tell because mm-hmm. the key to being a successful grifter is to never ever 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 give up on the grift or admit that you've ever been wrong. And also, if you're someone who believes that you're a righteous healer, you'll, of course, never, ever, ever admit that you've ever been wrong. Um, So, Yeah, because if it was just about the money, I think she would move on from a lot of these people instead of just being like, no, pour it up in their asshole. You should do that. Like, that kind of stuff. Like, that makes me believe, like, on some level, she's like, this is, I am right about this. I am right on this, yeah. Now... Back in 2015, the Attorney General of Illinois went after Carrie for violating Section 2 of the Consumer Fraud Act. She had to sign a certificate of voluntary compliance promising to stop advocating for bleach-based cures of autism. So for a while, it looked like she was out of the bleach-prescribing game. Unfortunately, plenty of other people are still in it. Uh, In 2019, NBC News published an article about a group of moms who'd gone undercover in several Facebook groups that were still spreading the gospel of bleaching autism away. The moms were motivated by horrific posts from other dumber moms, like this one posted about a two-year-old who was not taking well to his bleach treatments. Quote, My son is constantly making a gasping sound. He won't open his mouth. He screams, spits, flips over. Again, this complete refusal to listen to your child's signals like whether or not that two-year-old is verbal in any way shape or form i would say the gasping he's communicating he's saying stop bleaching me i think he's i think he's trying to tell you something right now yeah stop doing that (laughs) don't do that to me i don't like um and this is this is why there's a a charity called autism speaks and there's a number i'm not going to get into the entirety of the reasons that uh, a lot of autistic people have issues with it um, but one big issue they have, I think, with Autism Speaks and with a lot of different sort of autism-based charity organizations that aren't centered around actual autistic people is this focus on, like, ending autism. 
Um, whereas a, a lot of these people will be like, that's kind of offensive. This is just like a part of who I am. And yeah. it's a thing that like makes my life different, but I don't like, it's, it's kind of fucked up that you're just focused on eradicating this thing rather than listening to me and understanding me and people like me and helping us exist in society like everyone else. Uh, like disability advocates, people who are like advocate, not that it's the same thing, but like you don't go to people with like, if you're if you're trying to help uh wheel people with wheelchairs access more stores by putting in ramps like that's a good thing because you're listening to a problem people have you don't just go like let's eradicate people who don't know like that have who, who can't walk or whatever like yeah we need to fix of, you guys that can't walk and you're like yeah that'd be great but it's not gonna happen but, they, they did they gave us me a chair that moves <laughs> yeah and if you if you put in this one thing if you listen to what we're saying you can make our lives easier like yeah, it's 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 all part of the same, like fucked up behavior. Um, it's just this is the most toxic variant of that, and sort of the people who are focused on eradicating autism are still doing a toxic thing, but on a totally different sort of end of the scale. Um, yeah. Anyway, I I shouldn't wade into that too much because I have not done all of my research on autism speaks or any of that. But listeners should know there's like a very big debate within sort of the community of, of, of autistic people and advocates and whatnot over a lot of this stuff. So like the, the, the toxic stuff that Carrie Rivera represents is like, again, part of a spectrum of toxic behavior. Now, Billy, you know, it's not part of a spectrum of toxic behavior. Mm -hmm, I do. I have the uh, products and services that support our show uh, through their advertising dollars. I hope it's like for bleach. Yeah, I hope it's just bleach. <laughs> bleach, you bleach. drink it. It's it's for it's for curing. Yeah, it's for curing. <laughs> Depressed by the state of the world in the year of our Lord twenty nineteen, bleach. You won't be here as long. <laughs> we would become billionaires in a year. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, products. We're back! I hope you enjoyed those ads for Bleach Co. brand Drinkin' Bleach, the only drinking bleach that also has a little hint of lemon. It'll cure you. Yeah. <laughs> what if we could What if we could mix LaCroix with, with bleach? I think we would print money. I think we'd <laughs> own this, a mint. Is what this bleach be. tastes like pomegranate. And there's no <laughs> calories. Mm-hmm. Zero cal bleach is really, like, that's the next level of this grift. So, uh, yeah, I was talking about an NBC News article from just like a couple of weeks ago about a group of moms who went undercover in several Facebook groups to try and like talk about the fact that Facebook has essentially allowed the spread of this very toxic set of behaviors that's poisoning children and these mothers were abusing their children. Um, NBC talked to several of the moms doing this activism. They also reached out to Carrie Rivera, quote, Rivera declined to be interviewed by NBC News, but an email she defended chlorine dioxide and her credentials. This is a medical issue. I have a degree in homeopathy and work with MDs and PhD scientists, she wrote. Rivera did not respond to requests for more information about these doctors and the institution that granted her degree. So that seems above board. Mm -hmm. um, now, the article that I found also included solid data on the human toll taken by this incredibly stupid treatment. It noted that in the last five years, poison control centers nationwide have dealt with 16,521 cases of chlorine dioxide poisoning. 2,500 of those cases involved children under 12. 50 of those cases were life-threatening, and eight people died. Now, we don't know how many of those people were autistic, or how many of those poisonings involved purposeful MMS ingestion rather than terrible accidents, but they did review a separate FDA database that found the case of a six-year-old autistic girl hospitalized with liver failure from chlorine dioxide exposure in 2017. So it does seem to be happening. Um, so that's cool. That's cool. I mean, that's I would act cool. like I'm shocked, but there was a Tide Pod epidemic of people eating that for a while. So it's like... Uh, yeah, but I don't even know how much of that was real and how much of it was people... Like, nobody was taking Tide Pods to cure their illnesses. No, that's true. So, but, yeah, that was it, to get fucked up, which is... I understand it's like, that appeal. as dumb as when my friends and I would drink an entire pint glass of tequila 
to see how much we could vomit. Yeah. Um, like it was like that's dumb and it can land you in the hospital. But you know it's dumb mm-hmm. when you do it. Yeah. It's like drinking a gallon of milk because you know you'll puke at some point to see how far you can get. You know you're poisoning yourself. Yeah, you're about to puke. You're going to puke. Yeah. That's the whole point. Yeah. You're going to vomit. Yeah. Nobody's like, no, drinking a gallon of milk will get rid of that fucking uh, uh, that tumor on your arm or whatever. Well, that is just, Which, that's totally different. Yeah, I guess you're right. But it's also like the bleach thing is, it's just so wrong like it's so yeah clearly like this is not like that's a desperate it's just a weird to me it's fascinating that the human brain can do those mental gymnastics to be like well this will probably work yeah we are incredible animals and yeah by incredible i mean incredibly dumb animals um and i hate us mm-hmm. uh now that 2019 NBC article uh, also included the horrible story of Jose Serrano, who is an Indianapolis father who, in 2018, called the police several times to complain that his wife was forcing their two-year-old to drink bleach as an autism cure. The police called CPS, who removed the child from the mother's home. Uh, Jose and his wife were separated for reasons that I think are explained by the fact that his mom was, or his ex-wife was forcing their child to drink bleach. Mm-hmm. Um, we're having communication quote, issues. Yeah, yeah, communication issues. (laughs) Serrano, 29, who was separated from his wife at the time, told NBC News that she had been secretly dosing their daughter in the bathroom to hide it from him and the rest of her family, who all disapproved. She was just frustrated with the autism, Serrano said. She learned about the concoction in a Facebook group, according to the police report. She wasn't listening to anybody, Serrano said. When we found out, we told her. Her brothers told her. I don't know if she's still in her delusional world, but she's always looking for the solution. Nah, which it seems like Jose's actually got a pretty good line on what's going on in these moms' heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. during this episode, I have expressed a lot of frustration at busybody mothers who poison their kids because they think they know better than doctors. But it's worth noting that this whole problem has only started to get better thanks to the equally dogged work of a group of activist moms who were horrified about all of the bleach poisonings. Uh, Emma Dalmain is probably the first of these activists. She is a London-based mom with autism herself uh, and with autistic children, so you can see why the cause of stopping charlatans from selling autism cures is rather personal for her. She started her crusade by infiltrating trading Carrie Rivera's Facebook groups and making videos about the parents she found poisoning kids in those places. Her work led to a series of 2018 articles in the Daily Mirror, which prompted Facebook to close several of Carrie Rivera's pages. Quote, but administrators for the banned groups, including Rivera, simply created new private groups and more carefully vetted would-be members. The problem is you manage to get one knocked down and it reopens the next day, but it goes secret, Dalmain said. So unless you've got a good fake profile, which I have, and you're friends with people in these groups who will tell you where the next secret group is opened, you can't report them. A lot of them I'm not in and will never know about. So this is the problem. It's this, It's it's a, an adjacent problem to the issues of like Nazis on the internet and stuff. Like there's some, the Zuckerberg problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the people who invented these things only cared about spreading them as much as possible and never cared about, well, how will they be used? Yes. Um, It's the gun industry in a nutshell. Um, Look at all these AR-15s we're selling. Who's buying them? Look at how many we're selling. (laughs) Who's buying them? We're selling so many. Who's buying them? We're selling so many. So many. A lot of guys posting swastika flags and all their AR-15s. So many sales. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, It is that... I just, yeah. Uh, it's such a weird industry. I mean, I understand it's predatory, but to be like, the grift is going after people that are in a desperate mode. Yes. That this one, I don't think, I don't think Humble started it to, like, his was more like, it was purely snake oil because he was. Yeah. Like, He's he was a like, straight up snake cure oil goddamn salesman. anything. Is literally it'll cure what. fucking everything. Yeah. yeah. And then this one, she's like, no. But that's why I think there is some weird personal thing where she thinks she's figured something out too. Yeah, I think she's more likely to be a true believer than uh, than Jim Humble is. I think Jim Humble just wanted had a, is a man with a dream of making money by selling bleach water. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Now, you may have noted at this point that it sure seems like Carrie Rivera is not abiding by the promises she made to the Attorney General of Illinois to stop selling bleach water as a treatment. 
Somebody should really do something about that. Maybe the Attorney General of Illinois. I don't want to tell the guy how to do his job, but it does seem like an issue. Although, since Carrie is apparently based in Mexico, like all of these grifters eventually are, I don't know how much the Attorney General of Mexico or of uh, Illinois could actually do. Now, Dalmain's work inspired other activists, and these uh, activist moms gradually raised enough awareness that the big companies whose platforms enabled all this horror were forced to take more action. Amazon banned Carrie Rivera's book from their platform, finally, in March of 2019. Rivera complained that this deplatforming would, quote, decrease public awareness of her message and that Amazon was responding to media-generated hysteria. Shortly after that, YouTube began a purge of some of Rivera's videos, removing several that directly encouraged the chlorine treatment. YouTube told NBC that the videos had been removed for violating their standards against encouraging activities that, quote, have an inherent risk of physical harm. Well, that's Yahoo most was... YouTube videos. Yeah, that is most YouTube videos. It's kind of the whole service at this point. Yeah, because you watch, yeah. you're like, this is going to get somebody hurt, or somebody's yeah. going to get hurt. Yeah. I mean, that's part of YouTube's charm. I love watching ski fails and base jumping fails. Um, yeah. But, yeah, uh, that that seems less harmful than this. Well, that's um, that's a choice. It's like UFC. I don't mind that. Like, yeah, watch it, yeah, you chose for that. Yeah, to be in that situation, friend. Um, now, uh, Yahoo came next, canceling Carrie Rivera's email account after an activist named Eaton emailed the company to let them know Carrie was using the account to push poison on desperate mothers. True to form, Facebook was the very last big company to do the right thing. They deleted Carrie Rivera's public profile. Rivera responded, Facebook wants to destroy our autism self-help community. Now 31,000 families that came to this page for advice, questions, and solace have in essence been kicked off Facebook. Mm -hmm. That's not entirely true. See, Carrie Rivera still has a personal Facebook page, as well as professional pages for her line of diet supplements. She's into the keto thing. Uh, so I'm going to guess those are only marginally less toxic than her bleach drinks. So Facebook didn't de-platform her. They just said, we're not going to platform your bleach drinking business. She also still has a YouTube account and regularly shows up in videos on other people's channels advocating chlorine treatment. I found her in one video that was published this March titled Healing from the Spectrum. It currently has more than 2,700 views. The video is a window into a very particular chunk of the internet crazy people ecosystem. I wanted you to take a look, Billy, at what is actually displayed on the screen while uh, Carrie talks in this video. Because it's, it's something else. Why don't, you, why don't you try to describe what you're seeing to our readers there? Listeners, not readers. People don't read podcasts. I mean, it is. It on the left, it looks like four books from that you would see from like it looks like an Alex Jones documentary yeah. cover, but they're like books. Sacred Word Publishing Bookstore for Truth Seekers. Yes, <laughs> yes. So I mean, I was very right about that. It just, I mean, there's the there's always a there's an all seeing eye on every book cover with the triangle, and then there's skulls and secrets and. It's just a lot of, a lot of that that conspiracy uh, symbolism is all over the books, and then yeah. on the right, it's mercury poisoning and autism. It isn't a coincidence. And yep. there's this a yep. cute little blonde haired boy that looked like he could be my son, and then it says, "Okay, I'm gonna read. Can you want me to read these out loud?" These are... uh, we could just sum it up. There's like on the left, it's symptoms of autism in children. On the right, it's symptoms of mercury poisoning in children. And they're the same. It's just the same ones, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my yes. God. Well, yeah. that proves it. Yeah, I, I believe that the same people who are trying to sell me a copy of the fantastic book, Secret Instructions of the Jesuits, uh, <laughs> know about mercury poisoning. <laughs> uh, now... During this interview, Carrie plugs both her keto diet plan and her website about curing autism. Uh, I visited the website. The first thing you see is a ripoff of the Google logo, but in the name of her site, which is CD Autism, followed by the subheading Autism, Avoidable, Treatable, Curable. If you're wondering what CD Autism stands for, it stands for chlorine dioxide. Um, so while YouTube has kind of removed some of her videos, she's still allowed to talk to audiences of thousands of people about chlorine dioxide as long as she does it on other videos and doesn't put chlorine dioxide in the title because algorithms are super good <laughs> at stopping the spread of toxic behavior. Mm -hmm. Now, on her website, Carrie now claims to have recovered 557 children from autism. 
Her website includes a link to her speech at the 2019 Autism One Conference, so that's fantastic. Uh, in the speech, she brags about a video interview she gave recently that was viewed more than 200,000 times on YouTube. Much of her speech seems to be her complaining, Laura Loomer-like, about the fact that she has been heavily deplatformed from social media. She includes a quote from Vlakov Havel, a Czechoslovakian politician and dissident. You do not become a dissident just because you decide one day to take up this most unusual career. You are thrown into it by your personal sense of responsibility, combined with a complex set of external circumstances. You are cast out of the existing structures and placed in a position of conflict with them. It begins as an attempt to do your work well and ends with being branded an enemy of society. No. 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 <laughs> you have to be in those institutions to be thrown out of to begin with. That's yeah. You have to be doing the work the correct way for them to be like, no, that's you're creating your own martyrdom when you weren't even in the fucking thing. It's that yeah. mythos bullshit. <laughs> yeah, and for a little bit of reference about who Vlaklov Havel was, uh, who she's quoting, because uh, he's he was an actual dissident. He was a, a direct democracy advocate, a humanitarian, an early environmentalist, and a fierce opponent of the USSR who invaded his country in the 1960s. Uh, he was arrested multiple times. He spent four brutal years in a Soviet prison for his work, which was mostly like writing plays and speaking on the radio. Kerry Rivera, on the other hand, got partly kicked off of several social media sites because they're bleach in him as boys and children. Yeah. One of these people gets to call themselves a dissident. The other does not. <laughs> God. And she does. Under, I think they do. You know what? They yeah. do understand the power of language and certain yeah. buzzwords. Because that's a powerful word, dissident. Yes. Yeah. It's it's sort of like how guys like um, Christopher Cantwell, the crying Nazi from the uh, the Vice Charlottesville documentary, has tried to rebrand neo-Nazism as the dissident right um, because it makes it sound like there's some something righteous about it rather than like, no, nobody, it's you're not dissidents. Nobody wants you around because you're fucking Nazis. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah. You're not a dissident, Carrie Rivera. Nobody wants you around because you're bleaching children to death. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you're not calling out some wrong and we're constantly being swatted away. You're just being like, hey, stuff needs to be more wrong. And people yeah. are like, no, no. And you're like, you guys are preventing. Yeah, you're holding yeah. me back from doing my wrong. <laughs> it. One of my real fucking pet peeves is when shitty people use quotes by like, her actual heroes to like try and draw a connection between the two. Like from everything I could tell, Vlaklov Havel was like pretty righteous dude, really put his ass on the line for the things he believed in and standing up against a re tyrannical regime that was like driving tanks over people. Uh, like <laughs> fucking Gary Rivera. <laughs> like I, I hate you so much. <laughs> well, he's just like, it's just proof you can't pick your fans. Yeah, you can't pick your fans. And he's just like, <laughs> as true in stand up as it is. Oh, with yeah. The bleach like, uh, Jesus Christ is medicine. Is, yeah, mm -hmm. proof you can't pick your fans either. You think he'd be like, whoa, whoa, you guys are taking a lot of what I did out of context. It would be funny if he came back and was like, no, the only people who got it right are the ones selling bleach water. <laughs> Every, be, everyone else is wrong. <laughs> I would just be sitting there smoking, I'd start smoking cigarettes at the end and be like, huh, well. <laughs> I kind of like him now. I kind of well. <laughs> he's a man with a plan. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. <laughs> no, I was turning water into bleach water, not wine. That's yeah. a translation error. <laughs> yeah, the guy that wrote that was a drunk. You guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think that's most of what I have to say about Carrie Rivera. Whew. But we are not done talking about Miracle Mineral Solution quite yet. Because for some reason, known only to the dark gods of chaos, no good grift ever truly dies. In the wake of that NBC article, a number of major MMS adherents were spurred to action in order to protect their right to drink bleach and also shoot bleach up the butts of their children. I think many you, of these now I will say this: you, I think every human should have the right to drink as much bleach as they want. Hundred percent. Where you? Hundred percent. Where you lose right? You can't put it in children's butts or make them exactly. Drink. Can't do exactly. It. You nope. yourself can drink as much bleach as you want. I, I will. I will fuck. fight for your right to drink bleach on your own time. Me too. Um, but not your not your kid. Nope. Yeah. Now, uh, many of these people who got angry at NBC for attacking the bleach drinking community, <laughs> the bleach drinking community. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a thing we have in 2019. (laughs) Many of these people just so happen to be prominent and active members of the QAnon community. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, of course they are. Yeah, that's, there we go. (laughs) Yes. Yeah, of course we were going to get there. Oh, yeah. It's fucking beautiful. (laughs) Jordan Sather, who... Uh, brands himself on Twitter as a truth warrior and spiritual gangster with more than 90,000 followers, posted this on May 21st. YouTube removed my video on MMS three weeks ago, which was the most popular truthful video on YouTube about it. Now the media is ramping out up their disinfo propaganda against MMS. Censor truth, insert lies. That's how they've always done it. Now, in the response to this uh, tweet, another QAnon fan named Keck Jackson replied, I'm actually drinking MMS right now for strep, and guess what? It's working. Fuck you, Big Pharma, and your fake news BS. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's... Uh, drink, uh, drink I'm actually bleach drinking bleach to own right now, and it's working. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. And you're right, fuck you're right. you. Fuck you can't indeed. stop me. And you know what? I'm actually fine with all of this. Yes. <laughs> like, like, these people, like, it, well, it, I'd be fine with it if i didn't suspect most of them had kids that they were also feeding bleach to but like this keck jackson sitting alone at his laptop and drinking bleach fine with it yeah i am that <laughs> makes me happy on some level yeah where you're just like well this is good this yeah is- <laughs> now jordan sather shot back to that tweet with the response, quote, I've drank MMS, a.k.a. chlorine dioxide, brushed my teeth with it, breathed it, cleaned with it, used it topically. If MMS was a toxic bleach, I should be dead. Sorry, FDA and fake news media. You lose this one. So, it looks like the bleach drinking subculture still has quite a bit of gas left in the tank. <laughs> it's hard to believe that if you, if you will, if you're susceptible to drinking bleach, that mm-hmm. it's also hard to convince you that it's not good for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You'd be yeah. probably be Shocking. kind of stubborn if you're like, nah, bleach is good. It's good for no, you. No, bleach is going to heal me. Yeah. yeah. You're just like puking blood, and you're like, that's the, <laughs> it's the process. It's the, it's the fucking process. worms coming out of me. <laughs> no, one of your eyes pops out. It's part of it. It's part that's of part it. of the process. <laughs> oh, boy. Fuck you, FDA. Oh, <laughs> fuck you, FDA. <laughs> I'm going to keep drinking bleach. Fucking amazing. People are such remarkable creatures. Well, it's like the lady that died drinking water on the radio. But at least she was trying to win a GameCube. Like, at least that makes sense to a degree. Like, she wanted a free GameCube and didn't think water would kill her. (laughs) That is, I mean, that is a good point where you're like, it's water. And you're like, well, it does kill people a lot. And she would have won a free GameCube. I know. Like, that's nobody like $150 who's drinking. right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was more. to. She had more to gain than anyone drinking bleach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she actually died. The rest of them are like, I drink bleach all the time. I'm fine. Mm-hmm. They're like, well, drink more of it. It does lead me to believe that if we started offering a free Xbox for the people who could drink the most bleach, we might get rid of a lot of our worst voters. <laughs> like, oh my god, <laughs> like that 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 could work. Or like a free show on Fox News, like you get your own yeah. show if you drink the most bleach. Mm-hmm. You get your own Fox News show if you can drink the most bleach. And like, we took care of a lot of nonsense today if we wanted to like provide our own equally evil response to like far right voter suppression efforts in a lot of the south like that's how we could do it <laughs> free haircuts and bleach <laughs> yeah free haircuts and bleach oh jesus uh all right well billy that's that's my whole script about the bleach drinking church and bleach drinking subculture. <laughs> I will say this about both the episodes I've been on all four, I guess, but the two yeah. stories is it's like pop music where I'll never be, a, a, I'll never write a good pop song because I have too much faith in humanity to write a yeah. good pop, you know what I mean? Like, well, I'm yeah. always like this, no one would ever like this nonsense. And then you hear a pop song and people are like, this is good. And it only says just nonsense. But like this is the same thing where it was like I would never think 
that human beings would this would be something I could sell them. Yeah, and that's there's an element of respect that yes. you have to have for Jim Humble for just being the guy who is like, what can I claim as medicine so that I can make money selling people? Eh, fucking bleach, bleach. Like, like essential oils is an easy con. Like, yes. like everyone likes the way they smell. Like people like nice scents. That's why incense has been a popular industry for fucking twenty thousand years. Yes, like. This Nobody one, likes the, bleach. the only thing we yeah. know about it is it's bad. Yeah, it's bleach. It is it's bad all... for humans. Yeah. That's yeah, the like... one thing we know about it. And he's like, I think I can sell this to people and they'll I think, drink it. I, I think I could get people drink at this shit. And he was fucking right. He was right. And you know what? It is that, yes, Jim, the Jim kids Humble. thing is what bothers me. Is the, the yeah. woman that came along was like, let's give it to kids. You're like, hi, no, it was a fun thing until then. <laughs> I was really enjoying this subculture until you brought defenseless children into it. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Come on, of course they'll drink it. They have to. Come on. Yeah, they have to. Ah. <sighs> you ruined the fun thing that Jim was you doing. You ruined the fun thing. <laughs> you ruined bleach drinking for all of us, Carrie Rivera. God damn you. Jim Humble was just a decent billion year old god navy man who wanted to teach people the wonders of bleach drinking and because you he had got the... zapped with knowledge because he got zapped with electric knowledge by aliens although he says in the video that he thinks they were actually trying to hinder him from his discovery of a uh, miracle mineral solution I mean he's got a lot of stuff going on <laughs> he's, that much he's knowledge got a lot of stuff it's going just on. constant uh, it's just there's a big old war going on in Jim Humble's mind. <laughs> yes, there is something going on in there, and both sides be... are in on it. Yeah. Uh, Billy Wayne, you want to plug your pluggables? Yes, uh, you can buy my album at thirdmanrecords uh, dot com, thirdmanstore dot com, and then BWD tour for all my dates upcoming. I'm going to Providence, Rhode Island. Zanies in Nashville, a couple other places. Just look it up. And then Billy Wayne Davis on all the socials. Billy Wayne Davis on all the socials. By his album, it will cure your Crohn's disease? No, what it will do is if you've been drinking bleach, it will heal you from, <laughs> from that. From the bleach drinking. From That's a good idea. Bleach drinking. But it won't, if you put it in your butt, it won't do anything for that. Just orally. No. Yeah, yeah, it will, it will, it will cause you horrible intestinal distress, much like drinking bleach. Mm-hmm. Um, if yes. you eat it, yes, don't eat albums, don't, eat don't it. eat bleach. But you know what you can eat? Uh, if you go to behindthebastards dot com, find the sources for this episode, print them out, and eat that. Cellulose contains valuable digestive fibers and carbon. Uh, There's carbon and carbon. Everyone needs carbon. Everyone needs carbon. Mm-hmm. So you can also go to uh, Twitter and find me at I write OK and print out my tweets and eat them. Same benefits. Uh, you can print out tweets and Instagram pages from uh, at Bastards Pod. Uh, you can also buy shirts from T Public uh, as well as, you know, cups and stuff, you, all of which you can eat and gain unspecified medical benefits from. So... And you can find the GoFundMe where you can send Robert and I to Haiti so we can become Reverend Doctors. You're you're right. You can find the GoFundMe Reverend Doctor uh, account so that so that we can become Reverend Doctor Billy Wayne Davis and Reverend Doctor Robert Evans. Oh, that sounds. It's um, got a ring, you guys. It's got a fucking ring to it. Yeah, yeah. All right, Sophie. Have I forgotten anything? No, she says no. Have I remembered anything? She said yes. Fantastic. Looks a little, That's the end of the episode. Tired, Fucking turn off your headphones and go hug your cat. <laughs>